has always stood by our friends in times of need. Operation Sahayata to assist Cyclone Ida hit Mozambique in 2019, Operation Vanilla to provide relief to flood victims in Madagascar in 2020, and the assistance to Mauritius in containing the oil spill due to the grounding of the ship MV Vakashio are three notable examples. In the renewable energy sector, India has now taken a lead of bringing together international coalitions through the International Solar Alliance. India has always stood by our friends in times of need. We have extended our assistance and support in the form of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, often as a first responder. Operation Sahayata to assist Cyclone Ida hit Mozambique in 2019. Operation Vanilla to provide relief to flood victims in Madagascar in 2020. And the assistance to Mauritius in containing the oil spill due to the grounding of the ship MV Vakashio are three notable examples. We very much hope that more African countries would join the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure that was launched by Prime Minister Modi in 2019. India's engagement with African countries in the defense sector has also witnessed meaningful growth. The second India-Africa Defense Dialogue, held in October 2022 at Gandhi Nagar, has seen significant participation of defense ministers from Africa. We are already building on a tradition of training by supply of equipment with necessary support that is appropriate to Africa's current needs. India is keen to share its experiences and know-how to help Africa in its energy transition through rapid deployment of clean energy technologies. In the renewable energy sector, India has now taken a lead of bringing together international coalitions through the International Solar Alliance, and I'm very glad, sir, that you referred to it, which provides a dedicated platform for cooperation among various stakeholders in the government and private sector. Prime Minister Modi has also recently launched an innovative mission life, that is lifestyle for environment. It's a very simple mantra of protecting our planet from effects of climate change by adjusting our lifestyle and adapting, adopting environmentally sustainable practices. I would invite our friends in Africa to join us in this endeavor also. This year, we are also celebrating the UN International Year of Millets. Millets are important because they generate livelihoods, they increase farmers' income, and they ensure food and nutritional security all over the world while being environmentally friendly. I would encourage our partner countries in Africa to promote the cultivation and consumption of millets on a larger scale and would like to underline that India would be prepared to work with them in this regard. This is as much a traditional food grain for Africa as it is for India. Let me also take this occasion to express my gratitude and appreciation uh, to the governments of Egypt, South Sudan, and Chad, among other friendly countries, for extending the full support to us in the evacuation of more than 4,000 Indian community members from Sudan. Friends, in the last few weeks, I've had the occasion to visit Uganda, Mozambique, South Africa, and Namibia. I expect to visit Tanzania very soon and many other African partners after that. In these visits, I rode a made in India suburban train and went to a pharma production center in Mozambique. I inaugurated a forensic university in Uganda and witnessed the impact of the Param supercomputer at an IT center of excellence that we also formally inaugurated in Namibia. And you all heard from our two distinguished African leaders of other examples where India has partnered with Africa to transform lives. To me, 